Hi, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Doug and also inexplicably in the middle of the woods next to a major freeway don't ask questions and recently I've decided that I want to do something a little different with my channel. Today my friends and I will be spending our time planting trees with our local churches while also brainstorming ways to solve the violence in the Middle East using only the power of love. The first thing that we have to do is take... Hold on, I got a text. Mark says he would like to spend the day looking for MILFs. Yeah, I'd much rather do that. Mark, the way that I've found works very well to get MILFs mm -hmm. is to aimlessly scream out your window. You just scream out the window. You scream out the window and you hope you get some bites. It's a little right? bit. Right? Some ah! No. no. <laughs> That's gonna get the cops on us. Man, I, I wish I had somebody to play my Madonna cassettes with. Is that even accurate? in the ballpark. I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a historian. Hey man, I wish I had somebody to watch Rachel Ray with at home on the couch at 3.30 in the afternoon. Damn. Anybody? You try. <clears throat> give, it a, give it a shot. God, I just love watching Grey's Anatomy. I uh, wish I had somebody to talk about it with. That's good. That's, Thank you're you. are natural. I do my best. That's really good I, work. Has this ever worked? You know, uh, uh, technically, uh, no. Never. Thought you were the milfologist, you know. That's yeah. That what that is what Dr. my business Milf. card says. That's what um, my business card says. Yeah. I think I know what we need. It's the clothes. The clothes. It's the clothes. Oh, I guess some clothes. Clothes. The missing link. But not just any clothes. We had to dress like dads. And dads, as you know, have a certain style because once you have a wife and lock her in with kids, your appearance means nothing. So Mark and I are on our way to Kohl's, America's favorite clothing store. Maybe not favorite. Top, America's top three. F no. Top ten. No, that's not. They sell clothes. Hey. So I uh, heard you got three kids. I'm good with kids. <laughs> yeah, I have a 401k. <laughs> got my future plan. <laughs> I have my bachelor's degree in business. <laughs> Hey guys, Doug again. Grand total came to $114, which honestly is a small price to pay for time with some beautiful women in the future. Weird that I phrased it like that. Now it sounds like prostitution. Don't forget, Doug, edit that last part. But anyway, I just came to grab my wallet because I keep all of my money, my entire network, and this little leather buddy of mine, just in case I ever have to take out all my cash to flex on a motherfucker, which happens more than you'd think in rural New Jersey. $114, honestly, should be like pocket change to me. I have $2 in my wallet. Um, shit. You know, I really regret now buying that artisanal Power Rangers themed bidet toilet for over $4,000 a few weeks back. You know, actually, no, I don't. It's the Green Ranger, he's my favorite. Oh shit, dude, Mark's still in there with the lady. She's demanding her money, and this is Kohl's. They don't fuck around. Yeah. What do I do? Life could be a dream. Life could be a dream. Life could be a dream If I could open up to paradise up above I don't know all of the words to the song I'm making them up as I go Hello, hello again I should have prepared better for the video It has been 35 minutes since I forgot left Mark at the Coles cash register with a $114 bill of money I know he doesn't have And if I know Coles, they're mad that they haven't gotten their money yet and they've broken in both of Mark's knees. <laughs> oh. 
No, that does suck though. But I got a coffee. Duncan was having a sale. I had two dollars. What do you want me to do? Hmm. <laughs> no, but Mark will probably never walk again. So. No. That's terrible. Life could be a dream. Shabu ba da ba di ba da da paradise up above. Shabu ba da ba da ba da be only one that you love. Life could be a dream. Hello, hello, hello again. Da 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 da. Probably shouldn't have left Mark. Just turn it down. Turn it. I went back to Cole's and luckily they had not hurt Mark at all. In fact, that was kind of a rather stupid thing of me to think. Obviously, they kept him chained to the floor of the stockroom so that they could ransom him off for hundreds of thousands of dollars. I was able to successfully barter with Coles and free Mark for the low, low price of my indentured servitude for the next 40 years. Is that illegal in reference to the 13th Amendment? Yes. <laughs> Coles doesn't care. So quick side note, if I ever don't post a video, just know it's because now I have to spend 19 hours of every day folding the clothes that people leave in the dressing room. Anyway, Mark and I left, but recently I've been seeing some more concerning behaviors from Mark. He's acting different. You know, he's a little too into this whole becoming a dad thing. It's actually really concerning. So I'm staging an intervention. It's the only thing I can do. And even though he has a broken foot, my friend JP was nice enough to say that he'd join me. This is going to be uncomfortable. You know, they can't stop you from taking the ducks at the park. What? Yeah, if you just run up and grab one. Who's they? The government. Hello. Hey guys. Hey sluggers. How you guys doing? Hey Mark. Hey. What? It's good you came by. What is this? Could you, um, have a seat, man. Have a, a you seat should take right a seat, man. We gotta talk to you. JP and I have been talking, and we've noticed you've been acting a lot like a 45-year-old recently divorced man no. who's fathered two to three children. What? I don't... Yeah. I don't know where you're coming from. You're... Look how you're sitting, man. Look at... That's how I always sit. You've never sat like that before. What did you do last night? What did I do? Yeah. Proof huh? that you're not becoming a 45-year-old father. What was your last night activity? I watched the game. Did you finish it or did you fall asleep halfway through? Mark, I saw you wake up this morning at 8 a.m. and then you took a nap at 8.45 a.m. Still Dude. mowed the lawn between the two times though. <laughs> yeah, that was impressive. The lawn looks great by the way. That's not what we're having the intervention about. It's a very nice... Lawn care. Yeah, no, it's very good. You're not acting like a 19 year old kid. Uh, is there a problem? There is a problem, with, yeah. yeah. With household cleanup, you know, hygiene? No lawnscaping? No, we're not talking about the lawn anymore. Oh. I'm really concerned. I know we were like going after like hot moms as like a, you know, I was doing it like as kind of a joke, but you're kind of, like this moms. is dangerous. No, I know you like moms, you but. go with kids. Word up. No, don't agree with him. This is an intervention. I'm actually legitimately worried about you. <laughs> I'm legitimately worried about you. I'm Mark. <laughs> is he fucking kidding me? Don't laugh. Are, are you asleep? Get up. Hey, Get, oh. hey, hey, it's not, hey, what do you want from me? Don't yell at my, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad to report that Mark is beginning to make a full recovery. Once again, he's dapping people up instead of shaking their hand while firmly grabbing their shoulder. And he's beginning to once again listen to modern day music instead of the same two Guns N' Roses albums from the mid 80s on repeat. He still tucks his t-shirts into khaki pants with a belt, but we'll fix that later. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Be sure to subscribe for a new one every single week. And I'll see you next Thursday with more fever dreams. Have a good one. <laughs>